Welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create this Rubik cube and the animation. Let's jump right in. Okay, here we are on a fresh spline scene. Um, let's delete here the plane and let's go to the perspective mode. And I like to add here a cube. So let's place this one here into the center and let's go to zero by zero by zero in the X, Y, and Z. Let's scroll down now and enable here the cloner. And we want to change here the type to grid, the count to three by one by three. Let's rename this to center. Uh, let's duplicate this by pressing Ctrl and D. This one will be the bottom. Let's put this in the Y position to minus 105. And let's duplicate this one. Ctrl D and that is the top. And this one goes to 105 in the Y. Let's put all the stuff here into a new group. So let's press Ctrl and G. And now we can add here some materials. I like to go here with the center and let's go here right to the materials. We can leave the lightning, but I want to add here now a matcap. So let's go with this one, change this to matcap here. Let's select now here uh, this one. Uh, I can't see here any names, so I hope you can follow me. So let's select this one. And I like to add here another one, which is the normal. And we want to overlay this one here now. So that's everything for the material. We can press here on the four buttons and create a new material. So uh, let's go to the plus. And that's our metal here. Let's select the other ones and we can uh, bring this on this uh, bottom and top and uh, now we can adjust here the height if we want to with a null but we can uh, what we leave this one here now and now it's time to animate this let's select now the center yeah we want to go here to the states and let's make a plus on the states here and want to change the rotation in the y to minus 90 and now when we go to events, start, um, yeah, let's leave this on start. We want to make a transition. Let's go to the transition and we want to use here the base date and the state. The time is one, that's okay, but we want to change this here now to linear. And let's go here back and go to the loop, infinite. And that's everything, yeah. When we are pressing play, this one should now rotate. And now we can do the same for the bottom and the top, but in the other direction. So first state is on zero. The second state is now 90. Let's go to events. Start is okay, transition. Uh, let's go to linear want to use the base state and the state want to loop this infinite that's everything now it goes in the other direction okay now let's go to the top and do the same thing again we need a state and the base state and the state and the state we want to change this to 90 let's go to event start is okay transition uh want to change this to linear and infinite loop and now we are having here our animation for the floor uh, we can add here a plane and let's put this here on the zero zero by minus 230 by zero let's change this to 10,000 by 10, I want, only want to change here the color to something more grayish, maybe to something like this. Now we can uh, add here a new light because I don't want to have a directional light. So let's go with this one. Let's go all the way down to point light. This point light goes to 1000 in the Y. 
and I like to change the intensity to 10, the distance a little bit up. So let's go with this one here, six, uh, 6,000, the decay to six. So it's a little bit smoother here right now. And the last thing is let's change the radius to 100. So the shadow is a little bit smoother and I like to go to the orthographic view. And now we're having here our Rubik cube animation. That was this tutorial and I hope you liked and learned something. I see you in the next one. Bye bye.